As we get ready for round three, it is refreshing to hear the boxers ask their corners what they did wrong and to try to adjust on the fly. Yep. Something you don't see that often at the pros. They're listening. They're learning. And Powell goes right after Duddy. Duddy doesn't seem to be too nervous about it. Keeps coming on. The headgear comes off. Also, these guys get a break in the action. Nice right hook by Scoop Owl. And then right. with the left hand, he took the head gear off. He got the double header with him. He's very good with his hands. <laughs> Duddy is, I tell you, taking some good punches. Shows no ill effects at all. Shows no fear. And that's the one intangible asset of an opponent that you could not conquer is that speed which Powell has and which Duddy must confront. <laughs> He's trying to outfaint the painter. Good right hook by Powell. And right hand by John Duddy. Powell, not only with the fast hands, but very quick feet. Quick feet, great reflexes, got good eyes. Doesn't take his eye off the target. Slips real well. Duddy so trying to get close. He wants to fire that lead right hand. He's got an excellent chest match. Both guys are staying with their styles and doing the best to offset the opposing style. Duddy doing a nice job getting outside that lead right foot. Now he's not. He just foul Powell gets outside that lead left foot. He lets him go right there. It's been tough for either guy to carry it all the way. Powell goes back. His report card. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good. That was that was a beautiful finish. Okay. That's the kind of kind of finishes and stuff. Well, the United okay. States did not win a gold medal yes, at Sydney, but silver belonged to Ricardo Juarez and Ricardo Williams Jr. and Jermaine Taylor and Clarence Vincent with the bronze medals. So a total of four by the U.S. team. All right. Very tough Olympics for the American team. Very challenging. Uh, they didn't come out as well as they expected. They had five world champions on that team and thought that they would come out with some gold, and they did not. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's as a result, it's not as easy to market these guys in the pros, and maybe that makes the process you're about to see even more significant for the American team All right, come on. because Second down. Second they have down. the motivation now over the next four years. How does the Sioux Powell not get on that Olympic team? Probably we just bloomed a little bit too late. They had the disqualification. It is bound for picking up and tossing his opponent. Straight left to the body, that'd be real good. He would even get points for that. But since it didn't work for him in the trials, there's a guy now that is coming out very focused here. This is his first step. Boy, he feels a nice punch in his head. But Duddy is not parting from him. Now, Duddy hasn't taken a backward step. Very clear eyes, even though the shots are in there. He showed no ill effect. Very disciplined fighter, Duddy. Very disciplined. You watch a very competitive light middleweight matchup between Taku Powell and John Duddy at Foxwoods Resort Casino. This is Dave Bontempo and Scott Ledoux. We've got a referee intervention because of that right hook very by nice Taku Powell. It was a good call by the referee. It was a nice right hook, and he was staggered. A flush shot will do that, and you get referee's intervention 
quickly in the amateur ranks with flush shots. Safety first, that's our game. There's a right hook again by Powell. And Duddy coming in and trying to muscle him and elbow him. And he gets the warning for pushing off. Guys have a lot of savvy, some street smarts, not only just good slick boxing abilities. Kufau loading up right now, trying to land the bomb now. You gotta get back to the hands and just score some points. The knockout comes, you get it. If you're not, don't worry about it. Well, these guys both have the ability to intimidate boxers, but they couldn't intimidate each other in this one. A real good fight. Good bout. Is Powell very happy with the way he finished this? Powell caught him with a real nice right hook on the chin, right there. Right there, you see him hobble a little bit, he wobbled a little bit. The referee just wants to make sure he's okay. You don't see a lot of squawking out of the Irish guy. He knows he got hit. John Doody stood strong, but Powell had some speed, and the big shot that caught the referee's attention it seemed to be an edge in Powell's behalf throughout the bout. Yeah, the judges see it, though. Let's find out who won between John Duddy and Saku Powell. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the judges scoring, and here it is. The winner in the blue corner, representing Team USA, Saku Powell. Powell. Saku Powell has a little bit too much and gets the win over John Duddy. Discipline. Desire. Dedication. 